Hello and welcome back to Officina Virtuale. Let's continue our beginner series. And today let's talk about uh, we will use this dress up future and in particular we will use edge fillet, variable radius fillet, and so on. So to use this command, as you can see here, we need something. So let's sketch something on our let's sketch on a y x plane, for example, we can sketch a rectangle like this and we can use our pad command let's say 50 with mirror extend and let's click on ok uh, we can sketch something on this plane here we can sketch a circle for example like this and we can use our pocket command to obtain something to surface and let's click this as a surface so let's click on ok and uh, uh, we can sketch something else for example on this surface so we can sketch uh, let's say an arc yes we can select so at first we can project this line as a construction line now we can sketch our radius like this, but this must be standard element, and we can close our profile with a line like this. So let's use our pocket one more time up to surface, and let's uh, select this as a surface, and let's click on OK. So and now let's click on our edge fillet. And as you can see here, we can change the radius. We need to select our edge. For example, let's click on this. And let's click on preview. And this is what we've got. If I click OK, this is our operation. With double click, I can change my parameters. As you can see, or I could say, for example, four, and let's click on preview. And OK, and this is what we've got, OK? I can select even this as a fillet this could be our edge and let's click on OK and this is the result of our operation okay we've got different option but I will it rest until uh, you're a bit more advanced this is something a little more complicated and we will use that with our shape uh, more generative shape design for now that's enough okay Let's click on variable radius fillet. Let's click on that. And uh, now let's uh, use this as our edge. As you can see here, we've got two different points, two elements. This is our first point and this is our second point. As you can see here, we've got even radius. I can change this radius. For example, I should say 10 and let's click on OK. If I click on preview, this is what we've got because I've got this kind of variation. Uh, it could be the variation. I can change the variation. I should say linear and let's click on preview. And this is what we've got. But I can change the number of our point. For example, selecting point, I can introduce a point here, for example, and I should say uh, 20. And uh, now let's click on cubic and let's click on preview. And this is what we've got. OK, so I can obtain this variable edge fillet with different radius and uh, uh, with different um, development like for example linear or cubic and so on okay this is very useful sometime we will use that okay the other options it's this cordon filling and uh, to use this we can select this line okay and as you can see here now we've got these options let's click on preview uh, this is not a radius as you can see this is a line and we can change this value okay and let's click on preview and this is our options okay this is a cold fillet let's click the other options the other options is this uh, a face face fillet we need to select two different face for example uh, face to fillet we can say this and uh, uh, we need to select 
another surface like this and this is our reference and let's click on preview and as you can see we've got this fillet between these two different faces and let's click on okay. this is the idea okay as you can see here automatically Katia select this face this edge as our reference edge let's click on this as you can see here we have selected two different faces and automatically Katia said this must be our edge. Let's click on preview and let's click on OK. To use our latest options, we need a different, for example, let's sketch something as always in our YX plane. And we should say uh, we can sketch a rectangle, but this time uh, let's extrude this and 20 with mirror extend and let's click on OK. Let's click on three tangent fillet and as you can see here, we need to select the face to fillet. For example, let's say this and this and let's click on this as a face to remove. Let's click on preview and let's click on OK. And this is our option. Okay, this is the result of our operation. We've got, I'll do that one more time. I've selected these two different face as a face to filling, and I've selected this face as a face to remove. If I click on preview, this is the result of our operation. As you can see here, I can select radius or or different uh, value for my operation because I'm using the surface as a reference element. Okay, so preview and okay. And now let's click even on chamfer. I can use this command. I've got, uh, for example, this uh, edge here. I can select this edge and I should say 4 uh, with an angle of 45 degree and let's click on preview and OK and this is what we've got but I can use this command in a, even in a different way for example I can select this face for example and if I click on chamfer and I click on preview I've got this operation realized OK so I can select the single edge but I can select even a surface and when I select the surface, that means I need to I want to realize my chamfer on all this edge. This is the different idea behind surface and single edge. Okay. I can change this angle. Let's click on chamfer. As you can see here, I can select uh, 60 degree. Let's click on preview. And okay, I've got this different operation realized here. Okay. As always, if you like this video, click, share, like, subscribe, uh, and so on. See you soon.